Hello and welcome along. Today on Cobra Park Farm, we are going to be planting some trees. Um, now we're doing this in the top of, or on a little bit of field nine, which creates a little bit of a problem when using course play. So we're altering the shape of the field slightly. So before we plant the trees, we have got to reset the ground. Uh, as with the new version of, or well, with FS17, when you plant grass, it doesn't uh, alter the shape of a field. So we're going to hire a roller to start off with. So uh, it should be under misc, I think. Yep, there we go. So we're going to hire a roller. Uh, not that expensive to buy, but we, we don't have a long-term need for it. Uh, so we're going to lease that for 475 We could actually just hold on to it for this kind of price. Because it's something we will rarely use. There we go. And we've got our 83.40 here. And it is really tipping it down. First day of summer and it's really, really wet. Okay, so let's head back. Put our beacons on. So yeah, lots and lots of rain on this first day of summer. But it's very good for our crops. It will uh, it will enable them to grow well, and uh, in doing so, we should get a nice harvest off it. This is uh, this job we're doing today is some uh, is something that I've done on Cobra for a while, and there's almost every single uh, every other field I can. Um, Handle the issues with trees and course play and everything, but this this bit here just creates an issue that that I just never really got around. So we're going to have a look at that. I am tempted to go and pull the because uh, there's a tree in field uh, seven that does get in the way, and there's those trees in field two as well. So we might have a look at those things. We're, do, we're doing a little bit of forestry work, really. Um, but we're, wait, we're basically waiting for our crops to grow. So <coughs> we're doing odd jobs around the farm. They just had to be happen to be sort of wood ones, really. This would be a way to do um, to get a, a path around uh, down the side of field seven as well. So here we are. So you can see the difference in the ground texture. So we're going to roll her from this corner here. And we'll turn our lights off. down here and you see it's turning this into uh, regular grass so removing the field right so And so this is where we're going to plant our little wood. So this is this is going to be our new wood in here. I wonder if you do this on mud, if it will uh, 
if it will just make it to be uh, non-field ground rather than um, rather than grass. It'd be interesting to find out. I, I am very very tempted to do a strip down the side of field uh, eleven. Uh, sorry, field seven. I think I think that would be very useful to have that there. Just so that we can drive to that bottom gate from the main farm. There we go. So this is the first time I've used a roller on 17. And it's quite it is quite a useful thing to have, I think. Just to just to sort of remake stuff a little bit. And I like I really like in 17 that you have to consciously do this rather than just uh, planting grass. It makes it so much easier to control and uh, and so much easier to grow because grass is a crop so the, the fact that grass no longer um, means that you have to uh, destroy part of a field to plant it is quite nice and you actually have to do something like this to say to go yes I am actually turning this from field to normal use so that's quite nice I really like that. Didn't realise I got that low. Last little bit. This can be quite fiddly, this. And I'm slightly surprised this roller isn't trailed. Patches I've missed. I think so. Maybe a patch there. Yeah, I've got that. Right, and then I just want to sort this corner out a little bit.
There we go. There we are. So we will go and return the roller. Ah, oh, and it stopped raining. Uh, we'll go and return the roller and we're going to go and get the planter. Now, I don't think this tractor is going to be strong enough for the planter. Because that is, no matter what it says on it, it is uh, <laughs> never seems to be enough power for the planter. So we'll have a quick look at it. We'll go put our roller down because I don't think I don't think we're going to need it. But for the price that it costs, we uh, we can just store it in the back of a barn. Yeah, it'll uh, it'll sit quite nicely at the back of this barn. Out the way. There we go. And we'll switch tractors. And jump in the T6. There we go. Now this should have enough power. We do need to put our weight up back on the front. Now our front weight for this, I think I parked in here. Oh. There we go. Right, we'll have a look. How much is a planter? So 26,000 to buy it, but we're not going to buy it. We're going to hire it. Uh, oh, and it takes 100 horsepower. So this little uh, T6 should be powerful enough to do it. So we're going to run down there and uh, run down to the shop and grab this. And get it planting with it. And yeah, just create a, a nice new little wood at the uh, at the top here. That just sort of squares this field off nicely. I am itching for the new version of this map now. Very much. No point in having the four wheel drive on. We're not doing anything that requires it right now. So turn that off. Okay. And from here, we lease that, which costs slightly more to lease than our uh, than the roller did. And then we want to pop to the. Uh, yeah, because I don't think we can buy. Oh no, we buy pallets here, don't we? So, yeah. So, we want to buy a pallet of saplings. Yep. Okay. There they are. So, we'll load those up. And head back.
So these saplings will represent our woodland. Or our, our new little wood. Our virtual wood. <laughs> So yeah, 20, 20 tree saplings. So that should be enough to, to create our uh, little woodland down here. And then we need to uh, rework the field boundary to uh, incorporate this, this new alteration that we've made. Wait. We are very rear heavy at the moment. We need to up the amount of weight that we have on the front of the tractor. Just do this when we pull in here. There we go. That does it, I think. And turn our beacons off. Part of me wants to put a, uh, a roadway down the side of this field to get to this wood. go and away we go It may take two pallets to do this, looking at the, uh, the amount we're getting through. That's our first five. Now we use a half the pallet probably on this first run. Try not to destroy that sapling. So we have nine left. So yeah, it took eleven. So we may go buy a second pallet. Otherwise, our woodland is going to be fairly empty. I didn't think we'd need more than one pallet. It seems that one pallet is only going to do the first two rows. There we go. So 
we'll go grab a second one. What we'll do is we'll go grab a second one and we will be right back. Uh, no point in uh, in you guys sort of coming all that way there and back with me. You've already seen me do that. So we'll be back in a moment. Okay, we're back. We, uh, we have another pallet. Hopefully, we won't need any more than this. We are spacing them out quite a way but we'll see how we go but I think I, it's getting thinner now and, uh, and I don't think it's going to require more than this palette which is absolutely fine absolutely perfect that will be so 20 trees planted here almost all in line as well a nice well spaced little uh, little woodland you could do one more no Oh, it did. Right at the end there. <laughs> so we have 12 left. Nine left, yeah. There we go. Wow, we are going to have some left on here. Just trying to think where we can place these. We'll do some sort of randomness in the middle, maybe. Uh, for example, here, just, yeah, There we go, and that is that all done and finished. And we have, so we now have a nice new woodland at the top of this field. And the next thing we want to do is uh, we need to redefine our field boundary for field nine, I think is what we're on. Yeah, for field nine, so. here we want to calculate field 9 where do I do this I'm trying to remember where I do this ah, calculate current fields edge path there we go I think we may have to do that when we're actually doing it. 
because at the moment it's not showing the edge at all. Yeah, I think we need to do it when we're actually in the field. So next time we come to work on this field, we will do that. It may recalculate it when we uh, when we start the uh, game next time because it does calculate the field edge paths each time. But we'll see how we go. For now, we have created a nice new little woodland. Oh, we also still have our... There we go. We still had that running. But we will drop this off up here and re get it returned. Because we don't want to be holding on to this longer than we need it. with our other bit of hired equipment over here. There we go. And go park up. Now I'm intrigued to see if we can find out in, uh, in the last couple of minutes we have here. We'll reduce the weight on the front of that. See if we can find out if there are any missions around here. We won't actually go and do any, I don't think. But we will go and have a look. Yeah. I don't know which fields on this version of Cobra have missions. Because the obvious choices definitely don't. Nope. Oh no, that does. So we're just going to have a look. So this is sunflowers. We'll move our Range Rover out of the way. Get out into the hedge. Time for the. Okay, we were. We will do a mission. Just to round off this episode, we've not used the, uh, where is it? Ah, oh, we'll use the Deutz. There we go. This is a very big vehicle for this mission. Wow, <laughs> it only just fits. This is going to be interesting. Yeah, we're going to have to barge our... Oh, wow. It's a very big piece of equipment for this. Okay. So I'm glad we found a mission. We found a field with a mission on this map. That's good. I just hope that we're covering enough of the field at the moment. This is a big piece of equipment to be using on this. A 
And I can see why there are issues with implementing missions on this map. Um, because there isn't a lot of space to put the vehicles when they when they spawn. At the same time, this is a very big vehicle for doing this field. A very, very big uh, vehicle for doing this field. I'm not sure we're doing this in the most efficient way we could be. Really? But we will have it finished fairly quickly. Yeah, here we go. Almost done. Just a slither left. There we go. Oh. Right, so we'll head back to our landing. And uh, at that point, I will say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for all the latest videos from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel. I will see you next time. Goodbye.